possible setup for a blended distance learning classroom. Up here I have my smart board. I'm going to use my smart board to deliver instruction to my students that are in the classroom. I'm also going to use Google Meet and share what's on my screen here with my remote students. Over here on this table, I have a Chromebook that I'm going to use to connect with my remote students so that they can see me and they can hear me while I speak. Back here, I have my laptop. My laptop's on a dock. It's connected to my smart board. I'm only going to use my laptop for managing the content that I'm going to show my students. So when you're ready to start your class, what you want to do is connect one device to your Google Meet at a time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start out by connecting my teacher laptop, which is connected to my smart board, into the meeting first. And what I'm going to do is make sure that I mute my microphone and turn off my sound. Once I've got this device connected in and all the sound is off, I'm then going to go ahead and connect my Chromebook and make sure that my microphone and my speakers are on and then I'm going to do a sound check with my students to make sure that they can hear me as well as see me wherever I am within my teacher zone. Okay, so now I've got both of my devices connected. I want to go ahead and do my sound check to make sure that my remote students can hear me. Remote students, can you hear me okay? How, uh, how about how about from over here? Can you hear me over here? I can hear you. So can I hear you? All right, great. How about seeing me? Everybody can see me okay? Yes, yeah, sir. All right, very good. So what I want you guys to do is I want you to go ahead and mute yourself for right now. If you have any questions or you need me, send it into the chat, and then I'll tell you to go ahead and unmute. All right, so what we want to run through is um, how to take care of uh, and prevent audio feedback when in a Google Meet. So audio feedback is created when you have two devices or more in the same room and those devices are feeding sound into each other. So it creates an echo and feedback um, starts out as an echo. So let's go ahead and go through how we can prevent that. We'll create echo and show you how to, to stop it. Okay, so right now everything is set up the way it should be. I've got my Chromebook microphone on and my speakers are on and my smart board or my laptop, the microphone is off and the speakers are off. So I should not have any issues with feedback. So let's take a minute and listen to what feedback sounds like and just go over how we can stop that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the speakers on on my laptop. So now my speakers are on and as I speak, I can hear myself like an echo coming out of this laptop because when I speak, it's going in there and then it's coming back out. That's what feedback sounds like. So to stop that, your first step should be to go to one of your devices, in this case my laptop, and turn off my speakers and make sure my microphone is turned off. Notice now, I can't hear myself, I also don't have any feedback. All right, so at this point, I'm ready to provide some instructions and direction for students using my smart board. So I'm gonna hit present now, my entire screen. Select the screen, hit share, and now, Students are seeing my entire screen here. I'll minimize this and I will, you know, just open up an app like Smart Notebook. And now my remote students, as well as the students in my classroom, can see everything that I'm doing on my board.